What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe and Money Financial Channel and in this video we are talking about the top industrial dividend stocks here in November of 2020. As always, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into my dividend spreadsheet, which of course you guys can get access to for as little as $5 a month on my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Industrial dividend stocks, we're gonna look at the uh, dividend spreadsheet define our minimum dividend stock criteria, and then we'll see what we have available to invest in. So you guys know how I hate long and drawn out BS videos. Let's go ahead and jump onto my computer screen. Let's take a look at our minimum dividend criteria and the top industrial dividend stocks, November of 2020. All right guys, so we're looking here at my dividend spreadsheet. And so we talked about our minimum dividend criteria. We have to filter, but first thing we're gonna filter for is just the sector of the economy. We know we're talking about top, industrial dividend stocks. Let's go ahead and filter our sector here. We're gonna filter down to industrials only. Okay, but we're not done yet because we have minimum yield criteria, dividend growth rate criteria, and uh, dividend payout ratio criteria as well that we have to make sure these companies meet. Otherwise, they're not good fits for our um, for our portfolio. And every every investor out there, every dividend investor has different minimum criteria. So I'm gonna show you mine, but you might have different criteria and that's okay. So we've got our current yield here. I like to see a dividend yield of at least four to five percent. For the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and do a minimum of three percent. Uh, so let's go ahead and come on down here. We're gonna switch our current yield out. We'll go to number filters, greater than or equal to 3%. That greatly limits the amount of dividend stocks available, but we're not done yet. We also need to look at our dividend growth rates. Again, this is how much the company grows the dividend on over the past year, past three years on average, based on our compound annual growth rates, the CAGR, C-A-G-R. Uh, then we also got the um, one, three, five, and 10 years, if applicable. Um, and so what I wanna see here for my companies, I wanna see dividend stocks that are growing their dividend by at least the amount of inflation on on average for the historical average, which is around two or three percent long term. So I'm gonna see dividend stocks raising their dividend by at least four percent every year. So that's already pre-coded in here for, for green. So I'm gonna filter that by color. We're gonna go green only. And these are all green, so that's all good too. So now we're left with what? Seven, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight dividend stocks, but we're not done yet because we have to look at the dividend payout ratio again based off free cash flow as opposed to net income, which is what most people are looking at. Um, and that's because dividends, in my opinion, dividends are paid with cash not in net income. So we want to look at the actual cash available to pay dividends. And so we look here and we want, I generally want to see a dividend stock with a dividend payout ratio of less than 75%. I usually look for at least 50% or less, but for the sake of this, it's, it's generally less than 75%, especially if it's a more stable company like a McDonald's or a Procter & Gamble that's been paying dividends consistently for over 50 years. Uh, but for the sake of this video here, I want to see less than 75%. So we'll come down here, we'll go filter by color and green. Here we got it, we got five dividend stocks here that meet our dividend criteria. And they all have a dividend yield of at least 3%, growth rates that are beating inflation, um, and a dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow that is less than 75%. We've got Resources Connection Incorporated, a dividend contenure, 10 years of consecutive dividend payments that are growing, MSC Industrial Direct, which is a company that's in my own portfolio, you should know that, um, a dividend contender, 17 years, Years, um, yield right now 4.01% and look at that dividend growth rate for this company 16.5 16.6 14.7 super happy that this stock is in my portfolio then we've got Matthews International Corporation 25 consecutive years of dividend growth that is a dividend champion right there um, and they have a dividend yield right now of 3.86% dividend growth 5.29.3 12% really strong dividend growth and a dividend payout ratio based off of free cash flow again of only 23%, which is really good. Number four on this list, 3M Company, um, a dividend champion over 60 years, 62 years to be exact, of consecutive dividend increases. Um, their dividend yield right now, 3.61%. I picked this company up at over 4%, which was great. Um, dividend growth rate, 5.9, 9.1, 11%, 10.9, really strong dividend growth. Um, and their dividend payout ratio, again, 
64% based off free cash flow, a little bit higher, but something we might expect from a, a strong and established company like 3M. And then number five here, another company in my portfolio, General Dynamics Corporation, a dividend champion, 29 years of consecutive dividend growth, um, a yield right now of 3.16% and growth of just under, for the most recent year, 10%, just under 10%. Um, and their dividend payout ratio, again, 65%. Um, for a dividend champion, that's not as big of a deal as long as that is a stable number. So these are five companies here that you may not have in your portfolio right now that you may want to look to add right now. Uh, make sure to leave your two cents in the comments below. Which of these dividend stocks do you own? Which are you looking to buy? Um, and which ones do you think we should avoid even based on my own dividend criteria? Make sure to leave your two cents in the comments below. And have a great rest of your day, guys. That's all I got for you guys. Have a great rest of your day and please continue during this pandemic to stay healthy both physically and financially. Have a good one.